what's up? It's AFB Young One. I'm back playing Edith Fitch. The surprisingly good thriller horror game, I guess. It's not really like a horror thriller, it's like a suspenseful sort of like always on your seat sort of game. But it had to end one way or another. And up this letter, I guess, is what I presume is the ending. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Well, why am I? Am I? So this is the last night of Fitch family. Ah, oh, my neck, sorry. That whole last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Mm. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. <laughs> Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Damn. Let me back. Some little girl. Okay? The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. It's a basement, I think. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Uh, or that Edie had a key to it. Edie, buddy? You in here? Just wanna say, uh, good day. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Hi. It's a bit dark in here. Sorry if you guys can't really see. Bit of a bed in the way. Yeah. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. Shit. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Fuck. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. But there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. God damn, boy. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. <laughs> yeah. No, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh, I know. Uh, let's see if you're going straight. I got turned around. Uh, bugger. For a while, I wandered. Seeing things. Yeah, shot at us. Where am I? What's going on? Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Lot 
lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? Oh, it's shit. mine! Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Damn. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. No. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Yeah. But, yeah. After that, we moved around a lot. Some nice clothes, boy. We both tried to make the best of it. Yeah, I used to do this in the A few the years time. went by. Oh, that's cool. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty bitch. quickly. Oh. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Shit. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Damn. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. Am I in a fucking dickhole? But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. What's going on, man? I'm about to be a baby or something. This is where your story begins. Yeah. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Bro. Oh shit, wait, what? Oh, damn. Sorry, the grind spar. This is actually a really good game, like, there's like a lot to see, a lot to do. It's crazy. It's really crazy. So after all this, I'm gonna let the uh, credits flow, because like, why not? Yeah, boy, I wanna see it. I get, oh wait, so is this like the kid, I guess? It's gotta be right. This is like Edith's kid, or oh wait, no, these are the actual real kids. Holy fuck!
It's really cool how they did this. Man, yeah, the baby was my favorite eh? But this really fucking cool just to be like the frog and shit. Recently, I uh, sat on like a fucking piece of glass and I was hobbling and shit for like a good couple weeks. Had to get crutches, fucking split them in half because they were shit. What is wrong with that baby, man? Just saying, that's a fucked up looking baby. This must be like the shark room. Young boy eating peaches, getting hit by trains and shit. Helmet, rollerblade, can opener. She got gun. Oh. Nice. It is what it is, I guess. like I'll just continue doing this a little bit see how long it goes on for it's real cool though the way they did this with the pictures and shit the names last show the padlock fucking windex and bam the dirt is gone Twelve to two thousand thirteen. The end. Good game. For real, man. Well, I guess it's it for that, eh? Gregory. Gregory was my favorite. <laughs> so Champa. Gus. Sit cunt with my hawk. But yeah, no, that was a that was a good game. That was really good. Good like little five part series put together. Yeah, I guess that's it. So um <laughs>